All right, guys. I've got my $2,000 in halves for the week, and I picked up $25 in customer rolled dimes. So let me get to looking through these, and uh, I'll do the dimes real fast, and then we'll get into these and see what we find. All right. All right, guys. I got skunked on the first box. The second box I found this in. It's a uh, 1976 bicentennial proof, and uh, it's actually really clean other than just a you know, minor amount of surface wear. There's no like deep gouges other than these two right here on the back. The front of the coin looks pretty nice, and uh, just water spots and dirt, but um, not a bad find so far. I still got two more boxes to check, and I got skunked on those dimes. So, uh, which I figured it was only $25 worth of them, but it was worth a shot. So I'll start looking on these other two boxes and show you what I find. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it. It's the third one from the left. And I pulled it out already because I wasn't sure. It's got like a gold hue to it, but uh, it's just really dirty. 1967, we're into the silver. These two last boxes, I still got all that left of that one. And one roll there. There's the proof I found. And 67. So, uh, I'll keep looking. This is actually my last week doing halves um, for the next three to four months. Um, I'm going to Texas uh, to retrain. Um, I'm a, a jet mechanic by trade um, for the Air Force, and that's what I've done for the last five years. Um, but the base that I'm stationed at is getting a new airframe So uh, in the next couple of years. So all the jobs for the plane that I'm trained on to, you know to work on uh, are going away at least a lot of them huge huge chunk of them so I cross trained into security forces so basically I'm an MP now um, the equivalent of an MP for the Air Force uh, I'm a cop now so I had to go to Texas to retrain for three months and I leave on the 15th and today is the second so I have 13 days um, until I go to Texas. So if I can do any coin roll hunting while I'm down there, I will, but my schedule is going to be pretty packed. Um, but I'm going to keep looking through these and see what we find. And like I said, if I find anything down there, if I get a chance to, I'll post videos while I'm down there for sure. And I'm going to be buying silver while I'm down there, um, and then I'll just do the unboxing videos when I get home. Just one big unboxing video. Um, so you guys can see what I got. All right. Uh, I'll keep looking. All right, guys. Most of the way through, well, a third of the way through that case. And we got a silver. First show of this case is a 1968. So sweet. And two silver on the board. Well, 67 and the 68. And uh, I'll keep looking. That's pretty shiny. Proof in there. No, no proofs. 2002. I found these all day. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I got skunked on the last box. So it was uh, farther than that 68, but it was 67, uh, 68. And that bicentennial proof I found. And uh, like I said, um, I'm going to be uh, out of town for a while. So I'll do what I can when I can. But uh, if I don't get to it, then you won't see any videos. But. I will definitely be trying while I'm down there because it's like a whole new demographic, so you never know what you'll find down there. Um, so it could be uh, really fun. But, again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next videos and definitely those silver unboxing videos when I get them, uh, when I get back. But, uh, thanks for watching. Keep stacking. Alright guys, I actually forgot to show you all these. Um, <clears throat> I went to the bank a few days ago. I actually called a bunch of banks. And uh, got a hold of one that had them, and um, they uh, I got some you know some Ikes, I got 15 of them. Sorry, um, this one actually should go here. There's a uh, 271s. There's 15 in total. 271s, two, two, four, six, seven, seventy twos, three, seventy fours. One's got a hole drilled in it. Or someone started to drill them. Looks like they tried to fill it with something. Um, a 78 and two 76s. And they're actually both in pretty good shape. And there's the back of the 76s. And then the backs of all these. Um, I, they're not silver. None of them are S marks. I have one D mint mark. 
the rest are all no mint mark. Um, and they vary in condition, I mean, but they're they're not super special. Here's the D mint mark. It's hard, really hard to see. Start with the light, guys. Um, shitty lighting in here. There's the D. <laughs> the D. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> they vary. Like I said, they vary in condition. Um, but I did mean to show you these. And uh, and uh, on the back, it's a, an eagle holding an olive branch, uh, landing on the moon, and the Earth is right there. And then on the front is Eisenhower. And uh, and then this one over here, um, the centennial or bicentennial rather, is um, the Liberty Bell with the moon in the background, and the front is Eisenhower as well, um, seventy six to nineteen seventy six. <clears throat> so there's those and uh just kind of a cool find um i've always wanted to get my hands on some and got a hold of a bank that had them and uh was able to score them so i was pretty happy about it so again i'll go over these kind of slow and just let y'all see them just the top row there um Anybody who's got any comments or input on them, that'd be great. Um, again, none of them are silver, um, as only the San Francisco Mint, so only S Mint marks were silver. Um, all the silver ones were struck in San Francisco. Um, so none of these are, but uh, I'm probably going to get my hands. I like to buy a couple of them, um, since finding them is difficult. In the summertime, I'm going to start hitting some yard sales and see if I can't find some. But uh, along with some, some Peace dollars and uh, some Morgan Silver dollars. But thanks for watching, and keep stacking.